This is Google Home. To say for the last year or two, I have been really impressed with Google's packaging and marketing and protection of their own equipment. It's a pretty substantial box, as you can see by the length. They've put plenty of thought into how they put this package together. Even the Google Home on the inside is well protected by air gaps. Very impressed. Google Home is relatively simple. It's the AI inside, plus great speakers, believe it or not. Even includes a little mute button on the back side. And the protective cover. That's all there is to it. I have to say, having played around with this thing, the sound is really good. Really good. It's got a simple plug on the bottom side. You just plug in the adapter and then plug it into the wall and you're all set. The box even comes with this really awesome cushion so that even if it gets hit from the bottom it doesn't get hurt. Inside the box you're going to find a lot of great literature including a get started guide, how to use OK Google, and some advertising for the different bases that you can put around the bottom of the speaker. Now the get started guide comes with this voice activation OK Google basic tutorial and there are a lot of great OK Google commands that come right out of the package. Now some require a few configurations such as Hue. You're going to need to get it connected up to those lights. But other than that, you're basically going to plug it in, open up the Google Home app and start your setup process. Now I get asked whether uh, you should buy a Google Home or an Alexa. I actually own both. They both have pros and cons both ways. And you'll see one of the pros or cons depending on what you think about um, from the Google Home perspective in the setup that I'm about to show you in a little bit. But the Google Home is actually quite impressive right out of the box for a first generation solution from Google. Very impressed. Once you've opened up the Google Home app, you're going to start going through a setup process. Google Home app found my new Google Home almost instantaneously. It ran through, connecting me up to my home network. It even located the location of the Google Home device, meaning in my kitchen. My hope is that, that someday they allow for multiple devices in different rooms, which I'm sure you can do right now. But the biggest caveat to that is it only really recognizes one person, one Gmail account, which means one home address, one work address. Google Home recognizes everything. So say I'm standing here in my kitchen and I want to ask Google Home, hey, Google, uh, what's my travel time to work? Well, it's okay for me, but if Paige asks the same thing, my wife, uh, then it's going to give her my results. So I'm hoping that's going to be a future release at some point. It's a very easy setup process from connecting it up to your Wi-Fi to basically starting off with your first Google commands. There are some things that are in this app that you're going to want to take advantage of. Again, this is a first generation application and uh, use as you see, the Google Assistant here is going to basically start learning your behaviors, going to start recording the questions that you ask. It's going to get personal over time. And that's a big difference between Google Home and Alexa. So you've got all the power of Google if you are basically asking it questions. Alexa really does still struggle with some basic search answers. 
Now, if you get Google Home, right now they're offering six months worth of YouTube Red, which includes the YouTube Music app. It's commercial free music directly from the videos. You can see I get a free trial there for six months. Now, similar to Amazon's app, uh, this thing also allows you to connect up to some, not all, some of your smart home devices like you. However, with Amazon and Google Home, you can really put the power to work if you're also using the If This Then That applets. Google has released that connectivity, which is great. Now here's a big advantage is that Google Home connects directly up to Chromecast. It will find all of your connected devices throughout the house so that you can tell Google Home to cast a YouTube video directly to your TV provided that TV is on. And I'm sure that other apps with connectivity to Chromecast such as Netflix, HBO Go, uh, hopefully one day those will also be capable of just casting directly from the Google Home device directly to the TV. So there you go. That's Google Home. Pretty simple, pretty sophisticated. So far, my first impressions are that this thing is awesome. Uh, now, I haven't tried it yet, trying to cast things to one of my TVs, uh, but that should be um, very easy to do, provided that the TVs are actually on. So I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and quick demonstration of how to set up your Google Home and use it in your voice commands using Google's new AI technology using Google Assistant.